The subject I'd like to talk about today is about the powers that Yowies have, or Sasquatches even. Um, what I've learnt and come to understand with Yowies is through research. Just over a period of time recently, I've picked up the fact that they can read your mind, they can pick up your vibes, and they're psychic. Now, for everyone out there who's a believer or who knows that they exist, I used to be a believer, but I know they exist. Um, I've seen them, I've heard them. The audio I collect of them talking, especially in English, they located to a certain area, a certain spot, bushland, forest, rainforest, whatever. And that may be a large area, of course, and they can move through. But what I mean is that they understand things which is outside the forest, outside the bush, outside the rainforest. It doesn't have to be just locally, it can be internationally. Um, it can be, say, like somewhere, it's something to do with in Australia or somewhere to do with overseas. The words and the things that they say in audio I pick up. Because obviously I, I collect a lot of audio, but I don't, everything, I don't, I don't put all the audio on my YouTube channel. There is some audio I keep aside. Um, I, I get sentences, I get talking, I get words, and the words and the sentences I pick up, they seem to pick up my vibes, they seem to pick up, read my mind, and they seem to be psychic with things. They'll say certain things and certain things come through or certain things happen. So, for all you researchers out there who are sort of just stumbling upon this or have been on this for a while, you know what I'm talking about. Um, the researchers who are not sure about this at the moment, I might, it sounds a bit trippy, um, but it's like someone being, say, like, a, uh, it's like, say, someone who's so good at meditation that their mind is a lot more powerful than, say, another person. And with that, they can, you know, maybe get visions, they can have insights, you know, intuition is more clear. And maybe they do, you know, they can read minds a little bit better. Well, with Yowies, you, you times that by, say, 100, maybe more. And that's how powerful they are. I've actually, just recently, we was doing a rock throwing game. And the question would be, if the, we'll ask them a question. If the answer is yes, throw one rock. If the answer is no, throw two. And sure enough, each time we'd ask the question, if the answer is yes, throw one rock. If the answer is no, throw two. And sure enough, the rocks would come over. And I've been getting that regularly recently. And I'll start recording that soon and start um, capturing that. Uh, it's real. It's happening. And it's very close to uh, civilization. Well, it is actually near civilization. The only difference it makes is where the civilization area, where it's connected to civilization is, there's a creek that runs through. So to people out there who watch this, who find it hard to believe that Yao is a Bigfoot Sasquatch exists, it's understandable. If you're not out there in the, in the bush, in the forest, in the rainforest, learning that these guys exist, then it's going to be difficult to understand the subject. The fact of the matter is, there's no debate anymore about it. The fact is that these guys are real, just like the air we breathe. You breathe oxygen, right? You breathe oxygen from the air. And you know that happens every day because you're here. You're aware of it. You're alive. But can you see the air? You can't see the air, but it's there, right? So it's sort of like the same analogy, same metaphor, same principle, whatever you'd like to think of it as. Sasquatch, Bigfoot, Yowies, Yeti, all the different species around the world in the different countries exist. Whether you see it, whether you believe it or not, they exist. Um, science can turn around and say, oh, where's the proof and all that? They are real. I've learnt so many things. Here in Australia, in Queensland especially, they have their own language which is very, it's sort of between the native Australian Aboriginal and it'd be like mixing it with North American Indian and you put it together and that's their language. That's the best way to describe it. 
but they also can understand and speak English very well. I don't just mean a few words. I'm talking if you're having a conversation and you're out in the bush looking for these guys, be careful what you say because they know everything that you're talking about. 